Hello, so today is results day and uh, let's just say it's a good job I got an unconditional offer at my firm choice university. So today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my portfolio that earned me an unconditional offer. So something to keep in mind is I'm a film student so this portfolio is aimed at getting me a place in film. So I did my portfolio on PowerPoint because um, honestly I had no idea what I was doing as I made this um, but they just said I had an email telling me to include a variety of art mediums so I thought PowerPoint was my best way at achieving that. Um, the first slide is my name in case they forget it I don't know, I just thought I'd put it in. And then, I'm not really sure what those orange circles are, I don't know. I had this like orange theme going throughout my portfolio with the titles and those circles. So the next slide is some photography that I thought I'd include because being a film student, something I link between photography and film is the framing of a shot. So I included photography in my portfolio to give them an idea of what my framing was like, I guess. I don't know. Um, I just thought I'd include these photos because I thought they were high quality because I use my college's equipment because I don't have money for my own. Still in the photography section, I have a couple pictures of my cat. Yeah. On the next two slides I have some photos that I took at a gig which I thought I'd include because it's definitely different lighting from the previous two slides and it's different style as well um, and I just included those to show that I know how to change the exposure and stuff on a camera so if it came to shooting a film in low light I knew how to do it. Um, but I'm not going to show those photos because I don't have the consent from the people in the photos. Um, they did ask me to take the photos for them, I had consent to take photos, but showing them on YouTube is another thing. So here's where the orange aesthetic comes in again in the title. <laughs> Drawings. Um, yeah, I'm a very artsy person. I like to do art. Uh, I don't know, I just thought I'd include it. The only thing I can link between drawing a film is storyboards off the top of my head. Um, I guess animation and computer graphics, I guess, could also come in handy if you know how to draw. These, This picture here I got, um, it's, I took, I had a reference for it, it's not my design. The drawing in the middle is of Louis Theroux, a documentarian. I think I pronounced that right. Um, it doesn't really look like him, I'll be honest, but I tried. And then the drawing on the far left is just some random drawing I came up with. And here's a point that the lecturer, the person who interviewed me, said about this drawing was that was probably the best one not because it was the best quality drawing he said it wasn't which i agreed with but he said because that's the one that i designed completely by myself there was no reference for it it was m completely my own work and he said he didn't like the title on the screen as well because i didn't make it <laughs> so i guess draw your own title um, and then on this slide I have a couple of storyboards which are definitely, well these are for a TV related unit from college, but storyboard is used quite a lot in film so that's why I included this um, because at the time of making my portfolio I didn't have any other storyboards. Again, two more drawings that I copied from references from like Pinterest or something. Okay, 
so the next thing um i put in some animations because i like to do some little animations in my spare time and these i gave like little bigger captions for um this one the first one that i included is in my spare time i animate very short videos i use a free app called photoscope that offers limited tools to animate this one is titled when i look in the mirror <laughs> uh, this was the first animation with more than one angle so yeah i'm not really particularly proud of this specific animation but i didn't have a lot um but i I was quite new to it when I made this portfolio so I didn't have many animations to include um, so yeah it's not really that good so I've included another animation that I was kind of proud of it was like the first proper animation that I did that was very smooth even though it doesn't look that smooth um, but I included the like I want to say storyboard but um, it's not really that it's just a two panel comic um, my third um, animation that I included is titled Dream <laughs> um, and yeah it's, it says in there that I came up with this animation <laughs> when I had a strange fear that being on the toilet I'd wake up and realise that I've gone to the toilet in the classroom or at least just a public space and yeah I um I don't like that feeling so I uh, turned it into an animation these two are very simple ones the drip is my first ever ever animation so I was quite proud of that I created it before I really knew how to use the app and the ball is just, that was me testing how to do smooth movements. This animation is the last one that I included because it was the smoothest and my favourite. Um, and that's another thing. When it came to placing things in the portfolio, I put my favourite of each section last to kind of... I don't know, it's like eating your favourite food last, you get left with a good flavour in the end, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so the last thing they see is something good, that's what they remember because it's the most recent thing that they saw. That was my logic. Then, uh, we finally move on to the film. Uh, this video, I included a caption. Um, which, another thing by the way, the reason I included these captions is because I also sent this portfolio off to another uni um, but I didn't get an interview there, so I just had to send it off um, and that was to apply for a scholarship at that uni and I got, when I got my results back I got like a 55% which I don't know if that's good or bad but they gave me an unconditional, not an unconditional they gave me a conditional offer with lowered grade boundaries due to this portfolio so and yeah I included this because I like the video it's my style I guess um, and the most important thing is it's not actually part of any college work um, a lot of the videos that I've made I only made because I had to because they were college work and this video wasn't so I included it um, and this video is the one that he liked the most the interviewer um, because I mentioned in the caption that it was filmed on an iPhone and then we had a discussion about how film is expanding to different mediums I guess like you can now film on your phone as well as a camera he liked that one the most so I'm glad I popped it in there and then we do have an actual um, piece of college work 
this one I'm not so proud of, but it was one of the best pieces of work that I had at the time of making the portfolio. <laughs> Um, I mentioned what editing software I use, also the actual footage in that video is not mine, I just found it off the internet, as well as the actual BBC logo, um, and I mentioned this to him while we were talking about it. This video I'm not going to play because it's about 8 minutes long, I don't know, it doesn't say. Um, but it's a film analysis video. Um, I included this because I this is a piece of work that I really actually enjoyed making and as well as it being a practical piece of work obviously I edited lots of video clips together um, it's also kind of like theory work as well because um, you know I'm discussing the narrative analysis and semiotics of the film so I wanted to show off a bit of my knowledge and pop that in there too. Oh, <laughs> This I put in simply because it was a short film trailer and the course that I was applying for was film. I'm not too happy with this trailer or the film itself. I didn't put the film, no I didn't put the film in because it was too long, too big, it wouldn't fit on the powerpoint I don't think. Um, it also was just straight up bad quality so I didn't put the film in but I did include the trailer because it made the film look better than it is um, again this is another piece that I I kind of like I literally just said that I was not proud of it um, but yeah I made this completely by myself filmed sort of some of it I didn't film by myself, I did have another person help. But most of this in the film I did film by myself. I edited by myself, this was all edited by me. And the film was written by me, um, directed, and I starred in it as well. So, yeah, again I used, I noted down what cameras I used to show them what cameras I have experience with and also what editing software I used. So this is the last slide. I put this video in last because it's at the time of making the portfolio is the one that I was proudest of. Um, I did enjoy making this project because it was solely editing and also I was watching my favourite show at the time, uh, American Horror Story. Um, I explained what the project was kind of, yeah, using scenes just from the first episode. And again, I've noted down the editing software. I also have the original opening sequence to American Horror Story, season two, uh, to use it as a comparison to my style of editing. So that was my portfolio that got me an unconditional offer and a lowered grade boundary at another uni. Um, so if you're planning on making a portfolio to apply for uni then good luck. I hope this might have helped, probably not. Um, and if you're going to uni, good luck. I hope you have lots of fun. And since it was results day today, Good luck with your results, I guess, and um, hope you get into the uni you want. Before I go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also, I'll leave links to my Instagram and Twitter down below if you want to follow me there, see my face, see what I'm up to. Bye!